Our medical moment today is going to be exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Uh, as you may know, the pancreas has two departments. It has an endocrine department, which is where insulin is made and released into the bloodstream. And it has an exocrine department where digestive enzymes are made, which are released into the intestinal tract. Uh, and sometimes there's overlap. Chronic pancreatitis can lead to damage of the pancreas and eventual exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. But the most common time that we'll see dogs who don't produce enough digestive enzymes is a genetic condition of German Shepherd dogs. Uh, German Shepherd dogs who don't have enough digestive enzymes coming from their pancreas, they tend to show the symptoms when they're very young because they're born with this problem. They tend to have chronic diarrhea and they tend to be very thin. And depending on how bad it is, they might be small little stunted dogs that never grow, or they may grow to their full size, but they may be skinny. But the theme is that they all have diarrhea. Um, we can determine with blood work if they truly have exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Uh, uh, the good news is that most dogs who have this condition can be treated. It turns out that pigs also have pancreases, and pigs make pancreatic enzymes in their pancreas, and pig pancreases are available at your local bacon creation place. <laughs> at the slaughterhouse, no one's using the pancreas for anything else, and so pork pancreas is processed to collect exocrine pancreatic enzymes. And you can buy them in tablets and in powder, and you can supplement your dog's food with digestive enzymes and now it's as if they made it themselves, and now they respond, and they digestion improves, and they gain weight, and they move on. <clears throat> it turns out that about um, uh, four out of five German Shepherd dogs with, ac with extra pancreatic insufficiency will respond to supplementation of enzymes, which means one out of five does not. And unfortunately for those dogs, if they don't respond, their prognosis is they're doomed to a life of diarrhea and poor body condition, which is kind of lousy. Um, another condition that can happen at the same time is bacterial overgrowth. Um, because the digestion is not happening like it should, there are a lot of nutrients which should have been taken out of the food that stay in the intestinal tract. And so bacteria have a heyday, and they, they replicate with those, uh, with those sources of energy that would normally be removed. Um, one of the things that can happen is that dogs who have exocrine pancreatic insufficiency might be very inclined to eat their own poop because their poop smells very much like the dog food they just ate because it didn't get digested as it went through, uh, which of course isn't good, but uh, that's another one of the features of this syndrome. <clears throat> but that's what also promotes bacterial overgrowth. So when we're treating them for their pancreatic insufficiency, we sometimes have to treat them for bacterial overgrowth. The test that we run determines whether or not they have that bacterial overgrowth, or sometimes we may just put them on antibiotics to deal with it. So that's the story on exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, most commonly seen in German Shepherds. Yes? So once they are on uh, supplements, do they still continue antibiotics? Does this balance? No, generally, um, generally the dogs who are going to respond to the uh, pancreatic enzymes will respond within about a week. Um, and then you treat them with antibiotics for maybe a month, <clears throat> and then you can stop the antibiotics, and then you experiment with decreasing the pancreatic enzymes to find the lowest amount that maintains the good digestion. Yes? Do probiotics help at all? Well, probiotics mean things that help bacteria grow, and so in this case, it's really not an issue of probiotics. Uh, it's fundamentally, if you don't have the enzymes to digest protein, you can't eat protein very well. And that's primarily what the, the, um, the enzymes are doing. Yeah? So what, do they have to be on this like, very special diet, or is it? Yeah, it turns out that um, the actual food doesn't matter as much as getting the enzymes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There may certainly be some variation where they'll do better with certain diets, uh, but there's no hard and fast rule. Uh, so there's a bit of experimentation to go in to find out what fiber Will help them and how much fat can they tolerate and how much protein. Um, but it, the key is that pancreatic enzyme so. Yeah. Why do they think German shepherds more than any other Yeah, it's a genetic condition, recessive gene. That's a genetic, yeah. That's, Would that's that be something that would show up on the wisdom panel if you did that? 
I'm not sure. I'm not sure if they. I'm not sure if they have a marker for that. We haven't run wisdom on many shepherds. Yes. And if they don't respond to it, is it just kind of from there and just deteriorating? Yeah. Unfortunately, life? if they, if they're facing a life of diarrhea and okay. being thin, so then you have to decide: is that a good life? You know, unfortunately. So are those dogs more prone to pancreatitis or I don't Yeah, um, a good, the question was, are the dogs with extracrine pancreatic insufficiency more prone to pancreatitis? Uh, and the answer is no, not really. Uh, but the converse can be true. Chronic pancreatitis can lead to scarring and loss of extracrine pancreatic function. Sorry. Okay, good. That's our medical moment.